So the area is roughly 100 square metres and I started growing the wheat because over lockdown I was really interested in growing and I looked on Instagram of what other people were growing on allotments and they said they'd made a whole pizza from the allotment but when you looked in the description they hadn't actually made the whole pizza from the allotment it's just a couple of toppings so I thought I'll grow everything you need for a pizza uh, starting with the base and that's why I've got the wheats down here to try and make a good base. I got the seed from Limograin. I started with a Google of uh, winter wheat seeds and then Limograin popped up. So I had a quick search and I found that I needed group one wheat because it was the only one listed I could see for bread making. And then I sort of worked out, okay, we need group one wheat. So I'm growing Crusoe here from Limograin. Uh, and then I searched on YouTube how to grow wheat, stumbled across farmers such as um, Ollie from Ollie Blogs. Uh, it's a farming life for me and Wardy's Weekly Waffle as uh, sort of showing you how they're growing their crops and all of the problems that come along with it. And also I've been very fortunate that one, the local contractors have helped out um, with some spraying advice and things like that and also Frontier with agronomy support. Big problem with pigeons, I've got a big kite up in the background which has hopefully been scaring pigeons away whilst I'm not here. And short of that, I've been running in and clapping my hands to try and get rid of pigeons. They're a nightmare. So after last year, because the wheat actually got some rust on it and I had to get somebody in who was qualified to come spray it, I've gone and undertaken PA1 and PA6 so I can use handheld application equipment. Um, so it's had some nitrogen applications to increase protein content and yield. Um, and that's just been a foliar spray because the granular application is a bit tricky with the size of area. Uh, it's had two applications of fungicides to keep the rust away, and it's also had a growth regulator to keep the straw um, stiff and short. So I've got some beans for nitrogen, because obviously the wheat needs nitrogen, and I can't spray on enough nitrogen. So hopefully the beans will add nitrogen in the ground that the wheat can take up next year. But sadly, the actual beans are quite small, I think they've suffered from lack of rain and the beans haven't had any fertiliser to keep the costs of growing down. Uh, but next year I'm hoping to grow oats here, so I'll be drilling those in winter hopefully in, in um, October time. Uh, and then up the top will be the wheat to make use of the nitrogen. So today we're going to be harvesting with a hedge trimmer, a strimmer to slice along the bottom. I'm going to gather it up by hand and then I've built a small threshing machine which is two pieces of wood with some chicken wire over the top and I'm going to put the wheat in between and rub them together and hopefully it should all fall apart. Well, I thought it was a bit unusual um, but interesting, Jacob came along a few years ago and uh, he had a terrible allotment that he took over. High, head height in brambles. He cleared it and he did a fantastic job and then started planting um, his, his crops. Um, at first of all, I thought perhaps it's just some of them he's going to grow, but he grew the whole entire plot and uh, I, was, I was impressed actually. He did well first year. This year it seemed to be even better. Um, he's expanded from one plot to one and a half plots um, and it looks really good and yeah it's good good luck to him. 